What is going on guys? This is Joe Young coming at you with an update video. Today I'm going to give you an update on what's going on with my fish tank. Normally I do updates you know, every week. I try at least. Last week I couldn't. Um, it was supposed to be my 125 update uh, last week, this week. Uh, but something happened uh, with the tanks and the fish so um, I'm going to give you guys an update on that real quick. So this month has been pretty bad uh, in terms of uh, the fish tanks. Uh, I've lost a couple fish and I'm um, kind of give you guys a quick rundown of what happened. So we'll start with the 60p. The 60p I had the the little doctor fish, the garner fish, and he was getting kind of chased around by the SAE. Um, and eventually uh, I did move the SAE out of the tank um, so that he can kind of just chill by himself. Uh, but by then he kind of just, he died. He had a basic a tail infection from all the nipping and he didn't make it. The other thing is all my little um, bumblebees, they literally just slowly died like one after another after like every week. Um, I came down and I think I only had like one left or something like that. So they just slowly just died off. I also lost my two hillstrom loach in that tank. So really that tank is just super bare. It just has Amano shrimps and the chili rasbora in that tank right now. All right, so that wasn't too terrible I mean I did lose like literally 50% of the stock in the 60p but the worst one was the 125 so one of the blue diamond discus started uh, to turn black and normally with discus they show signs of stress or anything like that um, when they turn black they, they show the stress bars and then you know that's an indicator that something's wrong either your parameters are off something's you know the, the fish isn't happy so normally you know uh, a big water change will usually help um that was the first thing i noticed was like you know it turned black i was like you know there's only one fish right now i'll go ahead and do a water change you'll see what happens so a couple days later the fish started to show symptoms of discus plague uh, if you guys don't know what the discus plague is you guys can google it but pretty much it's like a viral disease it's super super nasty and really it only affects discus and a few other like angelfish and stuff like that so really none of my other fish in there was affected except for just discus so basically once that discus showed symptoms of the discus plague i was like oh crap uh, all so basically all the the discus in there were potentially affected the other bad news is uh when i do water changes when i do like you know whatever uh i share equipment you know when i'm doing water changes so my discus pair uh was potentially affected as well so i went ahead you know uh monitor did you know water changes i started doing treatments to the tank um as they show signs of certain um diseases so with the discus plague basically it brings down their immune system and really the second infection is what kills the discus so the discus plague um is really nasty looking um it basically looks like white um kind of like almost like if you think about ick but it's just white all over their body and it's just like almost in a slime coat and it just looks super nasty and then um they pick up basically secondary um diseases you know cloudy eye ick anything like that because their immune system drops that's what they die from from the other infections so this one discus got it and pretty much it affected all the other discus um the next couple days afterwards i just instantly lose two discus like instantly the next morning boom two drops like instantly so i was like oh this is not good and then the rest started showing signs of the same symptoms and I was like, oh no, this is not good. As I was monitoring the, the main tank, I really wasn't even paying attention to my pair. Uh, the pair, one of the pair started picking up the same symptoms because again, I was sharing the equipment when I was doing water changes, doing this, and I just completely forgot. It's stuff that, small stuff like that, um, you kind of have to pay attention to and I completely forgot. So one of my discus, uh, the red one in, in the pair, caught the same disease. So by this time, basically all the discus are affected and I basically essentially moved all the discus into the 25 gallons so the treatment is easier and also it's more effective because it's bare bottom and there's nothing else that could affect the tank. As I move all the, the discus into this tank, I'm down to two discus, the two pairs, um, the two blue diamonds and two other fish. I have six discus now and when I move the rest of the discus into the 25 gallons to start doing treatment, um, one of them didn't make it. They literally just died because it was so bad. So right now the discus are still under treatment um, as you can see from some of this footage that you know they're not looking too hot. Literally out of the six, five of them are still just super dark. Like I've been doing 50% uh, water changes 
and I've been treating for secondary uh, infections so that they can kind of fight this off, giving them um, uh, immunity boosts, uh, vitamins to help fight off this infection. So it's kind of like humans, uh, once the fish fights off a certain um, disease, they become resistant or resilient to it, um, unless you know their immune system drops and basically another strain of that gets picked up. Uh, the discus plague is not curable, like literally they have to fight it off. It's kind of it's like a, their immune system has to be strong enough to fight it off. So, um, and it's really prone, I guess, to Asian discus, uh, so Asian breeder discus. Uh, I've just been reading online about this. And uh, yeah, it does super, super suck. So now I'm down to five discs. I don't even know if they're going to make it, to be honest. Uh, so that is the bad news in terms of the 125 gallon. Literally, there's nothing in that tank right now except for the fish that I currently had, which were uh, a few tetras uh, and plecos, pretty much. And also the other news, I guess the other bad news for um, some of the followers is I did um, end up selling or giving away the uh, Denison bar before all of this happened. It was like maybe a month ago. Um, and that was when I, in the last update, I kind of decided, I was like, yeah, maybe I should you know, get rid of them so that, you know, there's more room for the discus to swim and also the plants can grow a little bit better. And when I got rid of those guys, uh, definitely the tank was less cloudy because they weren't, you know, kicking up dirt or whatever. And um, the plants did bounce back a lot faster. That can be lumped up into like another bad news. Uh, you know, I don't have any more denizens barbs. Um, I basically sold them off to my local fish store. All right, guys. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with the 125 gallon now. Um, even if, let's say, all these discus do pass, you know, it'd be kind of sad. But let's say they do, um, I basically can't keep discus for several weeks anyways until this, you know, thing is purged or, you know, tear down the tank completely and start fresh, uh, which I kind of don't want to do. But, uh, so most likely I'll have to run uh, this course out and see how the discus do in the first place. And then from there I will um, kind of see what I want to plan around the 125 and plus 25 breeder tank. Alright guys, uh, man, this has this month has been just really bad for me um, in terms of just fish keeping. Um, you know, there's always ups and downs for everybody and this is probably my, my down moment in this year. So anyways guys, hope you guys like the update and I'm sorry I don't, you know, I didn't really give you guys an update in 25 because there's literally nothing in that tank to give you guys an update on. But anyways, uh, until next time, peace guys. Are you looking to take on the next challenge in the Planet Tank hobby? Then make sure to check out the Wabikusa Eco Ball. It's simple, unique, and easy to care for. This is the next level in the Planet Tank hobby, blending immerse and submerged plants together. Stop by the store at purelyaquatic.com to buy your own Eco Ball and rare plants.